Yep. This is exciting. I know Frank has waited for this since uh, episode one. Welcome to episode seven of Connecting Minecraft: Restarting Civilization. We are going to help Frankian uh, reclaim his uh, airship, and he's going to put this lightning rod uh, on top to prevent it from going into flames. As I understand it, uh, there are some uh, bad guys uh, up in the airship, uh, but um, it seems he can wait no longer. He made the you know the uh, the lightning rod, and we got a lot of uh, iron. Iron um, bars as well, which we're going to connect uh, to the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in order for let the lightning get uh, around the spaceship if uh, and when it is going to uh, to get into a fire for a thunderstorm here. Yeah, uh, and that of course happens way too often when you are playing Minecraft. You know. Uh, one of the really sad things about making wooden bases and all of that is that uh, they may just uh, um, get lit on fire from lightning. Yep, uh, that is why it is uh, really nice to have these lightning rods nowadays. Um, and we are going to position one here. So, let's see. There is a front and a back of, uh, of, of ladders, and I really can't remember if this is right or this. Great. Oh, that was a thing. That's right. Of course. Now, um, yeah, this being an airship, uh, we might just not uh, put torches in it. That's why I'm going to get to the uh, to the uh, tower of the deceased, you know, the zombie tower, to uh, take some of all the uh, lanterns that I saw there. There. So we're going to pick some of the lanterns and then get back to this uh, to the airship. Uh, there was some sort of a, a problem up there concerning, uh, I don't know if it was uh, uh, evil mobs or what. What was this then? Oh yeah, we got a la lava pool here. Yeah, great. Hmm? So look at all these lanterns. They are ours. I think we'll just need something like, I don't know. Yeah, well, we'll just take a few. So, probably four should do it, but uh, I mean, they are quite nice over here, so. Ah, and there are more of these pressure plates, we can just take them off as we are. Just take a look inside. Eh? Yeah, nice. Okay, and that was that one. Look at all these bars here, and that's probably water. Yeah, we're gonna take care of that one day. So, oh, and these, oh, not quite sure we want to press these. Let's see what happens. Oh, man. And then you got these chains here. Oh, that's just decoration. Fine. Yeah, great. Okay. Well, at least I think so. Now, while we are here, we might as well just take a few of this of these um, spruce logs, as these are the ones that we are used for the uh, for the um, little base hut. So I find this happens a lot when I play Minecraft that I sort of get distracted uh, with other projects. So I hope uh, our little guy here doesn't mind too much. So, let's see, yeah, mm -hmm, this one, but I'd like to, you know, uh, remake the hut a bit, that's nice. And I'm going to um, to do a lot of renovation between episodes now, uh, I think we have just uh, uh, gone enough into the series uh, that I can uh, can spend a little time off, uh, off camera doing things without it uh, sort of confusing the uh, the um, the view of uh, of the process. 
there will be of course more farming and uh, renovating and uh, maybe just uh, requiring uh, materials and so on. Yep, but I will do no exploring uh, off camera. Okay, so that was the lanterns instead of the torches. And of course, we uh, we all filled up now. So just go in here and see some of the. I think there was a, a barrel left. We can just uh, put the ordinary things in, like so. And anything we need for our project here? No, that'll be sort of that. Okay, so uh, I think that will do. Yep, let's go. Yep, through, and there's another crater. Wasn't that uh, that's a lava? Oh man, that's a lot of lava. Okay. Yep, I can see the spaceship just out uh, in the distance here. Now the plan is to get up the ladder and uh, put the lightning run rod on the side uh, besides the uh, the airship. Put the lightning rod on top of the, of a lot of metal bars and then also connect the the uh, lower part of the uh, of the ladder with the uh, with the ground through a uh, block of iron and um, and some uh, and some more of the iron uh, railings and that is because you know uh, we have to uh, sort of make the we make the um, electric uh, connection between the ship and the ground yep this is exciting I know Frank has waited for this since uh, episode one, uh, but we had to get the lightning rod, and I'm quite happy that we uh, we uh, didn't make the rod before we had the armor, uh, considering the incident with the potato sailor and the creeper. So let's start with. Now, the, well, of course, one of the projects here is is not dying, uh, and I'm quite sure you can appreciate that I'm a bit hesitant here. Uh, no axe. Okay, so, well, let's just, uh, that'll be, that'll be sneaking. And this. Oh, wrong button. Yeah. And I just think I just will have to. Just make this. Oh, hello, sir. Here we are. Oh, this is a screenshot moment. Mm. See, we've got to get this in. So, let's see. Here we are. Doink. Hey, hey. Yeah. How about that, sir? Another. Hmm. No, that'll be enough. Oh, oh, oh. and this is great. So, uh, let's see here. And then, let's see. Let's think they just move over to this one here. Yeah? So, not to stress the little guy, but uh, I really look forward to getting to this guy. Uh, Sky Village, as uh, we learned that people are falling off from it, and I, that's quite sad. I, I really would not like them all to die before I get uh, up there and help them you know, sort of survive their um, their situation. Okay, and then we got the lightning run up. Doink! Yes, sir! And I can hear the bad guys inside. Now, of course, stone isn't all that conductive, so uh, we'll just have to sort of do something like this. And then, of course, we're going to run out of rails, railings uh, just when we have to get some... Oh yeah, we can just... Uh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. We can just uh, connect the the uh, ladder to uh, the, the ground that would work okay so 
now it is fighting time actually uh let's get our uh, our thing together here not a good time to be dehydrated and we are going to put the lanterns in as much as we can i think i'll just something like this okay how do we get in here we'll just this i don't see any way oh yeah huh nothing here so that is that is the first room hmm this must be the steering house here, and that's also a bit black. I think we're gonna need a lantern. Where do we put a lantern here? We can't really. Oh, that's not cool. Not that I think they can spawn here, but you never know. We just put it on the ground. Great, okay. So that was the... That wasn't too bad, but there must be some... Oh, it's up there. Yeah. Let's just take a quick peek. Nothing here. Look at this place. Yeah, I'm quite sure that uh, all of that takes care of the problems here, but... Oh yeah! Um. Huh? How does it look then here? I'm really not. I think we'll just have to repair it for him. You know. Yeah. I'm not going to uh, mess with iron doors closing behind me. Uh huh. Huh? So, I see all this is lightened up then. Yeah, it is. Now, that's probably not so cool. Yeah. We got this. What is this? Oh. This is dark as well. We need... Isn't it? Yeah. We need another lamp here. Oh, oh, oh. Great. Spawner. Man, this is quite a big place. Oops. Yeah, skeleton. Whoop. Oh, man. So he died there. Okay. Well, that had to happen sometime. I okay, so we got uh, taken out by the skeleton. It had to happen sometime, and this was now. Let's see, we got all the equipment that we need here to uh, take this back. And uh, we have no problem with, you know, um, uh, our equipment. Uh, decaying as we got the uh, corpse mod on, which makes uh, our items stay on our body. Um, I, if you need any mod, that'll be it. Um, the corpse mod is the most um, rage quitting uh, preventing mod I know, and it's a uh, it's great uh, all in itself because um, you know. For f first of all, it's not quite realistic that that you're, uh, you have to stuff the case in five minutes. You know that that has uh, no uh, no reference to the real world. And um, uh, also, actually, when you uh, when you uh, leave your um, your stuff on your corpse out in the wild, you will of course uh, create a, an epic um, treasure for you to reclaim later on. Um, and this is some of the, the best experience I've had in, in Minecraft ever. 
ha- has been to know uh, having my equipment lying on the bottom of a lava pool uh, in the nether, for instance, uh, and using weeks to um, to to actually manage to uh, to produce the uh, the technology to get the uh, get my things back. Obviously, uh, bottom of lava pools is is uh, actually it could be in a whole video, um, and it's it's oh no, no that's a tiny skeleton, that's from a mod I installed called Tiny Skeletons. Look at him. Hey, great. Okay, so um, I, that's the first time I see those tiny skeletons, and of course. Um, uh, when you when you oh yeah you can tell that the uh, our death is also recorded um by this little uh, skull uh, over here uh, and that is from uh Sarah's mini map uh it's a feature that i would usually uh turn off uh as um it's i i, I find it uh, actually quite of the uh the interesting thing of the game to to localize uh, where you died uh, which is uh, sometimes quite uh, hard if you had tried to make a run for it, for instance, in a, in a sticky situation. Uh, so even finding your corpse just in, in an area like this might actually be challenging. Uh, sometimes I found it, uh, you know, uh, lying just in a one tile uh, hole in the ground that I didn't know about and so on. Or for instance, here's another grave you have to take care of later. So, uh, but but I find when I, uh, when I see... Um, Let's place myself. It can be very hard uh, to uh, to just um, sort of get an idea of where people are actually uh, sort of lying on the ground when they're dead. So so I like to have it on uh, as a uh, as a part of the uh, the overview of of what I'm doing here. So okay, uh, that will be one one f- uh, here to skeletons to uh, to function. And of course, uh, he lost his levels, but uh, that's really not uh, not the problem here, as it might take uh, quite a while till we get into any enchanting. Uh, and at that time, I think we could just uh, uh, go and uh, and get a lot of XPs from uh, from killing chickens or whatever we would like, if if that was really a problem. So let's go back in the fray here. Have to be a little more careful. I think he might just be up here because I opened the door. Yeah. Okay. Where are you? Actually, maybe an axe is better for whacking him. It was in here. It's my corpse. And I'm gonna take care of him before I... No. Then transfer items. And then... It's all a matter of... Shooting. And we are just going to make a chest here. I mean, we have sort of taken care of that door here. Okay, so a lot of things we don't need at the moment, uh, especially now that the game has sort of changed a bit here. We got our we got our arrows back. An extra sword, all is nice. Don't need all these shovels right now. They'll just be for later when we have taking care of the bad guys okay hey look at him yeah one for you so not really sportsmanshipish but hey oh that's another one oh no hope they don't line up all of them yeah They are quite hard, these skeletons, because they are all armored up. Yeah, and they can just come at any moment, of course. There's just, we just need some more armor on here. Oh, that was the, yeah, there, that's what was, okay, fine. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, we might just uh, make a retreat here, so we don't have to, uh, to get up every time we are getting killed if that is gonna to be a a habit the floating bed yeah why not okay so let's see here 
I would think everything is in order. We do have too much uh, equipment. And we are going to make... See, uh, I really like to... Um, so I'll be able to act quickly. So I'll just put uh, the things in here then. Yeah. No time for an axe. This one here. Yep. And of course these skeletons could drive you crazy. Okay, so. Just listening to them. Where did he come from? Probably up here. Oh, there's one. Okay, one, yeah. Uh huh. That'll be X time then. Smock and but we need all this crap here. Okay. So. Yep. That was up there. Yeah. Okay, then gonna be... Well. I'm not quite sure where that is up there, but seems to be a lot of them. There might just be a spawn up there as well. Oh yeah. Huh? Up. Oh, ouch. Yeah. Well. Now that's only fair. That they uh, hit me a bit back here. I mean, I'm not going to try all these clever contraptions, and this is just we're just gonna lay that here for for him. Okay, so that will be, huh? That will be the uppermost part, I think, and it is now being uh, lit up. Okay, so let's see. What's that? Yeah, that might just be something like a circle. Oh yeah, what do we have here? They're probably just uh, down there, right? Huh? Uh huh. We can't make. <laughs> oh god! Now great, I have these. Okay, let's see. What? No. That's not how you do it. Sla really? How the fuck does that work? Mm -hmm. So, let's try and have it. You can't make it though, isn't it? What happens here then? Uh huh. Let's try this. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Hmm? I'm not quite sure what is going to happen here, so I just make a lot of doors all the way around. They can't get in through doors. So that's what we're gonna use. Yeah. We got this place as well. Let's have some light here, please. Yeah. Okay. So that is this place taken off, Kev. Now where are they? There was this one place left. What's this then? Ah, oh, more of this stuff. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. So. It seems like the only part left is over there. Up here then. Okay. 
And there's a lot of them. And a trap wire or something. Yeah. We can't just make a... Uh... Oh man. Oh yeah. Can we reach them? Now let's get some sword action going here. Smack! Yeah. Yeah. We might just have to act fast when we get the chance. There was at least two uh, torches then. Oh yeah. Okay, time to uh, <laughs> take a water. Uh, to get healed up here. Yeah. And we have our chest with uh, some more water in. Okay, so. Yeah, what did we learn from that? I see here, they are, they are of course quite tough because they have their, their armor on. We just gonna one more into the bridge here. I think there might just be one spawner left. What? Oh man, there was some uh, skeleton hiding here. Okay, okay. So I'm beginning to understand why he is a bit nervous. This guy about this place here. They are really tough and hard. These guys. I don't think they are, you know, they are not uh, ordinary skeletons. They are quite pumped. But hey, we are learning. And uh, this is places really not all that easy to, of course, uh, found. Get around in. Yeah. Okay, that would be nice if the uh, damage indicator has shown uh, him actually getting hurt there. Train for items. So, and yeah, are we just gonna carry on here? I mean, what's to lose? Yeah, another pretty picture. Oh, that was a parry attack from the parry mod. He, uh, one of us attacked the other, and the other uh, person. Um, what? Really? Sort of uh, attacked ag at the exact same time, and that uh, that um, made the oh man, made the attack uh, get nullified. Okay, that would have been cool if I had just had this, uh... Oh no, no, I'm going to die again with it. Oh man! Hmm... Okay. So now we're a bit down on equipment here. I did really fumble that one.
Here it is. Just do it one at a time here. Get a hang of this. I see how I need to know how wrong the damage indicator is. Yeah, 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 I got to tie again. Wait, 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 hey! Not bad. Never tried that one before. So, look at this. This skeleton actually have all the hit points that the uh, damage indicator says it has. I'm a bit confused there. Okay, let's go back and regroup here. We just get a get a um, rid of all these uh, <laughs> death markers. Okay, so um, yum, 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 yum. let's see here. More armor for later. We got a little bit of sword left here, and yeah. This will be the last, the last effort uh, right now. So, one more time. Ah, that seems probably get open. Oh man, this uh, tough as nails mod really doesn't make things easier. As uh, I'm out of water now. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, that's not easy. Maybe. Okay, just. Uh, let's just try something here. What happens if I put water in a one tile? Let's see. Maybe this works. Yeah, and then. Oh, that would be nice actually. Ah ha 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 ha! Problem solved. Okay. Uh huh. Now. So. Yeah. Okay. One sword left. No, no. I think we're just gonna try the bow tactics again. Oh. Yeah. Come here, man. Not working. Oh man, so this is what I got uh, got confused about. You know, some of them really do not uh, react on the damage indicator, and that uh, that confused me a bit. And they jump on the stairs as well. Look at that. Yeah, so that combo. He's jumping on the stairs, and he is not uh, telling me how much time he has left. Well, of course, uh, that's just uh, vanilla uh, terms for you. <laughs> Skeleton spawn egg. Um, so uh, we can't complain about that. This being a really modded version. So, um, you know, not having the hit points on. Uh, it's not a problem actually, it should, uh, I just have to uh, stop looking at it. Okay. Now some of them have uh, have missile fire, so you can't just uh, get on top of them. Even though most of them of course do have these uh, sword and armor on. Okay. Seems like they they have a good idea of where I am.
These guys are quite hard. And of course this is a stone saw that doesn't make it easier, but... Yeah. I would really like to get an idea of where this spawner is. Oh. Because, um... Yeah, then I might just do something about it. Uh, but right now... Oh, another one. Okay. Yeah, that was our last, last effort at the moment. Um, we're gonna get back when we have some better equipment, I would say. Well... But at least we got it secured for uh, from lightning strikes. Oh, that's gonna get in there. Uh, I think we'll just make the uh, a few arrangements here for. We might just just take the water away as well. That wasn't really, you know, part of his uh, interior here. So, okay, now. Um, we are going to get back here, and of course it's, uh, we might as well make a little arrangement of the things that we uh, probably won't, uh, yeah, an extra water bottle here, that'd be nice. And let's see, some bread, you can always uh, use some bread, and Sort of standard tools here would be nice. We cannot uh, leave the armor here. But uh, another arrow, now another axe here, and these two really don't care about. But a pressure plate was from here, maybe that's uh, that's nice to have. And a little. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Thank you very much. For this time here, we are going to secure the rest of the ship, if I can even find out where it is, actually. Where's the exit? Not not a good day to get lost, I'm sure. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's the stair down. That's probably it. Okay. So now we know what the problem is, at least. Yeah. And... Good enough for one day. Whoa. Well, cover armor, stone sword, and a skeleton with axes dealing, I think it was four or five hearts of damage, maybe at least three with this equipment here. Ouch. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, so let's just. Uh, yeah, this grab that might just take care of the situation. Look at this. <laughs> Lighting will say, and then just hit the ground. Okay, so let's limp back to base here. Um, yeah, find these skeletons in close quarters. So on hard was a bit too uh, too hard for me here. I just have to uh, make out a strategy. Look at this. Uh, that's a, a vampire hunter with some spell effect on. Okay, and as usual, I forgot uh, the uh, the time uh, in real life here, uh, but it's probably just uh, time to make a little arrangement when we come home here. You see, um, the next uh, thing we're going to do is to uh, get um, get up to the sky uh, village uh, to see if we can uh, prevent them from dropping off the sides of their little uh, little place over here. It seems like they have a lot of uh, of railings and so on, but there must be some places where they can get out, probably on the fields or something. Uh, because we saw one person dropping off uh, in an earlier episode. And uh, that's probably not the uh, the only time that happened. So uh, they may just uh, run out of uh, of people up there, and I would like not to have to uh, to sort of get get somebody up there. You know that that seems uh, a bit uh, a bit challenging. So let's just get rid of some of this, and then we're just going to pick up the um, 
the pumpkins from outside here. Yeah. More armor. Something like that. Uh, or there are arrows here. So, do, 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 do. okay, let's see. Yeah. And we're gonna fill up water. So, uh, it seems like you might just carry a bottle around uh, all the time, putting uh, small um, ponds of water everywhere you go. Uh, that might be a sort of solution to this uh, to this problem with the water from tougher snails. But uh, that has to be done in some uh, more or less elegant way, of course. Yeah. Well, I I'm going to count how many times we actually died. Uh, I can't uh, can't remember right now. But um, there might just be some sort of a uh, death history here. Uh, anyway, I think I'll just say when I go to bed. Oh, maybe it already did. Well, I got to take it in in uh, post production, and then then I'm just going to. Uh, keep track of uh, of that in a in a book. As um, well, I I thought of quite like to know how uh, how how I proceed. Uh, so we might just make a book and quill. I think it's called. Isn't that something like that? There are three. Yeah, and then we need a um, an ink sack, and we got these uh, squids. You know, having ink sacks on our on the shore of our little uh, river here, just uh, dying on the here. Yeah. So, book and quill. This will be Fungian's sort of personal uh, sort of uh, memoirs here. So, okay. So, uh, Fungian. Yeah. Oh. Something like that. I can't say <laughs> that later. So. Uh, deaths. Okay, and I just write it in, in episode form here. Uh, um, so that'll be the seventh. So there, uh, multiple in my airship. Uh huh. Yeah. This is my airship. By. Uh, what are we going to call them? Uh, X skeletons. So, that is the first uh, entry in his uh, in his book of uh, the dead. Going to put it here. Okay. So, um, yeah. That it must might just be it for this uh, episode here. I'm just going to make a little farming, and then next time uh, it will be the um, the the uh, backstory telling episode 7.1. I'm going to do next, where I'm going to uh, to tell you the um, the real uh, historian. Uh, Sort of uh, uh, inspiration for this uh, idea of uh, this lost civilization uh, reclaiming uh, the the uh, the lands here. So that'll be uh, episode seven point one. See you there.